Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. We are here to do your you versus them love reading, your feelings versus their feelings. Cancer, let's look at your overall energy. Moonlight. It's a beautiful night, but you're all alone, but there are angels all around you, Cancer. The moon, you, moon rules Cancer, but in tarot it is Pisces. Deep freeze, there's something going on here. The cards are really intense. I'm getting that you really feel like you're stopped cold in this relationship. The talisman, you're looking for signs. You're really looking for signs. It does show divine protection for you though, so it does look like you have spirit is protecting you. Cancer, let's look and see you and your person in the recent past, Knight of Cups. You have felt very, very loving. This is a cup of love. You are holding it in your heart chakra. Um, the Knight of Cups is coming in with a romantic gesture, and I love you, a gift, a gift of love. Your person is coming in with this King of Wands energy, very much committed. Kings are commitment. Um, kings are typically married. And so you're coming in as a knight and your person's coming in with this King of Wands energy, which is passionate, passionate. I want fun, I want stability, I want passion. That's what they want from you. You very much are coming in with romance. They're coming in with passion and commitment. When we look at the current energy right now, the Page of Swords, you want to know a lot more about this person. You also want to know why they are moving so slowly. You're, this is Virgo energy on the part of your person. And the Knight of Pentacles though, I really like, like Knight of Pentacles energy. The Knight is the most, the Knight of Pentacles is the most successful of all the Knights. They get into it's the, the tortoise and the hare uh, this is a very deliberate person. They don't do anything quickly, typically. They're not rash. They make a plan uh, and they follow their plan. You're much more inquisitive. I would say you look online, you try to find them wherever you can to learn more about them. The energy that shows the way the two of you view this situation is you're the Queen of Wands. We have King of Wands, Queen of Wands. But your person is really feeling very burdened by something. So we're going to clarify this, but we get this burden. This person looks as though they're releasing a burden of some sort in the relationship with you. So we're going to clarify that. Let's do that right now. Okay. So let's clarify what that burden is. Why is a 10 of wands here for cancer with their person? The page of cups. What we're getting here is that your person feels with the Queen of Wands energy and we have the Sacred Heart. They want, they love you, but they want to slow down. They feel like the relationship is going very quickly. Now, whether that's accurate or not, that is just their thinking and feeling at this time. It doesn't mean it's true, but it does show that they are, I get all these cards of reservation. We get the 10 of wands, we get the hanged man, we get, they wanna tell you something. We get them having remorse and regret. We get great love, there's no doubt that there's great love, but when we look at the next card in the way that they view you, they view you as being very heartbroken, even though they love you, uh, they are going to give up a burden, and the Page of Cups says that they're going to make you an offer, but the offer falls short of what you want. The Three of Swords says that they view you at this time as being heartbroken because of their indecision. The Hanged Man is indecision, not really taking action. That Cancer, you feel very disappointed in this person. That's how they view it in terms of how you feel in your heart space. Now, interestingly enough, though I have a lot of heart space energy all over the reading, it's really not in the position that one would expect. In your heart space, you want a definite offer. You want ace of discs. You want an engagement ring. You want a substantial offer. Your person is rushing in to talk about that offer. So it's interesting that both of you are feeling almost like you want what you want and your person is going, ooh, I took too long. <laughs> I better speed it up. 
The Fool card says that you may actually, for some of you, you may give this person an ultimatum. You may say, you know what, it's okay if you really don't want to be with me, if you're on a different page, if you're in a different space, even though I think we love each other, I will, you know, I'll go on my way and I'll start a new beginning. And your person's having remorse and regret. We do see a beautiful dove here, Cancer, that really speaks to the fact that your person loves you and wants for this to turn out in a way that's very loving. So I'm really seeing a person, and there may be an age difference too. I'm getting this energy of age difference. This person may be a different status in their life than you're at, you know, and in a different place than you're at. So I feel as though you're more advanced in terms of your career and what you want. But this person has a goal and they don't want to make any commitments until they meet their goal. Very masculine energy. I want to plot and I want to plan and I want to meet my goal. And this person does refuse to be pushed. They, they will leave rather than be pushed. Uh, they feel as though their offer of love is very sincere, very innocent, very sweet, and I would agree. And they love you very deeply. Um, they do feel, though, as if they cannot act at this time. So when we look at the energy of how what's hidden between the two of you, well, love, 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 darling, love. The three of cups, look at this river has been winding and it's spilling out in this beautiful waterfall, all of this lush greenery. But there's a little bit of a problem here, Cancer, because they, they feel to you like they are brittle that they're, you know, you're not even sure if this person loves you. But here, look at what we have, Ten of Cups. Not only do they love you, they would like to be married to you. The Ten of Cups, it's, it's about a relationship in which they, you know, see you as their happily ever after. So what's hidden here is a great deal of love. There's so much love here. Look at how abundant, how lush, how beautiful those cards are. It's really exquisite. So Spirit is saying, oh, interesting. Spirit's advice for this relationship, Cancer, is that you slow down. You need to be the knight of discs. You need to take the stature and the posture that you don't need to rush anything. So Spirit is saying, take your time. If you don't take your time, that this tiger can just sort of jump up and all of a sudden you're in trouble. Interestingly enough, we have yet, you know, the king of the jungle here, the, the lion, the strength card, the lamb. Your person's love for you is very strong. This is a person who is very strong. They are gentle like a lamb, but their love is very fierce. They're very fiercely protective of you. We can see this. You know this. Look at you can see the tiger. Here you are, a mere child, quote unquote, sitting on the tiger. And this tiger is happily holding you on their back. So you really do feel this love. So it's interesting that the two of you are in this place. Now, the Three of Swords can indicate a third party situation. So let's take a look at that and see if this person is married to someone else. Let's see, well, that just fell out. The Eight of Cups, okay, Eight of Cups reversed means that they have not left something behind yet. They are about to do that. Beautiful. This person is about to leave something behind. I would say that, I wouldn't say necessarily that they're married. I don't really get that they're married, but I get that they're probably overly tied to an ex. An ex that still treats them as if they are living together. And I'm getting the Queen of Pentacles energy reversed. And what we're seeing here in this reversal is that this person is trying to claim them, hold on to them. Um, it really makes you feel like you need to put a luck, a good luck charm on their, you know, on their, uh, on their wrist. Like, oh, we need to get a tattoo of good luck, a talisman of some sort. The two of you love each other. That is not in question. It looks as though you know that it's not in question either, but you're not willing to wait around forever because right now you feel as though 
they might, they should, it's almost, they're not married. It, for some of you, they may be married, okay? But for most of you, I don't think this person is married. But if they ask, act like they're married, there's this feeling of competition with an ex-wife or an ex-lover with whom perhaps they have had a child. And you really want them to make that firm commitment to you. We have the Ace of Discs. We have it repeated again. Here you are. Oh, no, excuse me. This is where they are. They are going to make a commitment. Right now, we're seeing this person is, you have given them, I wouldn't say an ultimatum per se, but you have given them the truth. You have told them the truth that if they don't want to move forward in the relationship, that you will move on. And it has put them into a state of sort of losing sleep, chaos. They feel very chaotic. Now, when we come down here, Spirit is recommending that you slow down and that this person is to speed up. And here they are. They're speeding up here. You're slowing down. I like that, you know. So it's good energy. The Ace of Coins is how they feel about, this is your outcome. Outcome, outcome. So your outcome in this reading is the Ace of Pentacles. They make you an offer. Temperance card is that you may have had a breakup or a separation, but this person is coming back, whatever's happened, whether it's been a day, a week, a month, a year, this person is returning with an offer that is an engagement ring, typically, and you want that. And I'm getting that your person rushes in, temperance card, for reconciliation, to make things right. We have a beautiful angel here. Temperance card is protecting you. You are being divinely protected in this relationship. Your feelings about it are the Six of Cups. You want this relationship and you're underwater if this person doesn't choose you actively. You want them to boss up, to quote unquote man up, if you will. The Emperor Energy can be male or female, but it says that you want them to own this. You want them to claim you. You want them to move forward. You want them, you want to meet them. You want to have social activities with them. I do think that all your friends, you know, know each of your, your persons, but we see the sun card here. Happiest card in the deck is your outcome. You will be very happy. You are getting, this is a soulmate of the minor arcana. This is a person coming back to you to reunite with you. And we have double cards showing that this person does you know you want them to take the emperor role the leadership role they come back with a substantial offer cancer a substantial offer for reconciliation so let's look at a couple of the other cards here why are you just hanging or why is your person hanging around and not really acting why is that let's see if we have a clip Ace of Swords, okay. Until they gain clarity about something, what do they need to gain clarity about? Releasing a karmic. Oh, there we go. Your person doesn't understand that the toxicity created by a relationship, even though it looks like it's divorced, even though it looks like, you know, your person is single, they're still, quote unquote, allowing a karmic queen of pentacles reversed hold them captive they don't see it they're about to see it with clarity okay because we have hanged man looking at things for with enlightenment looking at things from your perspective hopefully and then they have clarity they see that you're correct and the karmic release yay i love it okay so that is your reading, Cancer. Lovely, lovely reading. Uh, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.